this image that I drew, I'm seeing a lot of pareidolia in it. Uh, as you can see from far away, I will zoom in in a second, here is a face, there are the two eyes, there's the mouth, um, but also it's a side profile. Here's the eye, here's the nose, there is the mouth, and then also up here there's a side profile of a face. Here is the eye as you can see. I think there's so much depth to it and it's really interesting. Uh, and then as you can see if I'm turning it this way. Oh, sorry. One more thing. There is a boat right here. Do you see here is the front of it. There's the back and here it's in a canyon ridge area. And here are the clouds and there is the sun. That is the eye. And then also right here, let me zoom in. So now that I'm zoomed in, I can see right here someone has a hat on and it looks like there is their body and they are in kind of like the rocks. Reminds me of Mount Rushmore kind of. And then here is a stingray. Do you see it? Here's the body. There is the tail of it and there is its face and you can see kind of the ocean current. So if I turn it this way, I can see someone who dances. What are they called? Um, they dance with like reams and they put them in like decorative designs and they look really interesting. Here is their head, here's their body and they're flipping over and there are those reams. I'm sorry, I don't know what they're called. Um, and then here is a face. Here is the nose, there's the mouth, there's the eyes, but then also there's another hidden face within it. Here are the eyes, there's the nose, there's the mouth. But then in this face, there's another face. Here are the eyes, there's the nose, there's the mouth. And then right here I can see, as I said before, there's the face, but it seems to be a giant that is drooping here. Or it also looks like uh, one of the fish one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish um, from Dr. Seuss. Uh, there's its mouth and there's its body and it's flipping upwards. And then also I am seeing, I know there's a lot of like traditional medicinal roots and sometimes they look like people. Um, I'm seeing right here, it reminds me of some traditional medicine roots. There's the eye, there's, it's like really droopy and interesting. There's the nose and there's the mouth. It's a side profile, but then also I'm seeing a samurai right here. Here is the, like a cloak covering them, or maybe just a fighter. And there is their face and they are screaming. Their, their mouth is really wide open. Here's their body and here is the sword. But also it kind of reminds me of like <laughs> looking under a microscope and watching little tiny things move around. Um, here this kind of looks like some kind of, I'm not sure what it'd be called, like an amoeba, I think. And then down here is also another interesting pose. It looks like someone dancing. Uh, it looks like um, a figure of like um, a line of action study figure. I did a lot of those. Um, oh, and then here is another fish. It seems like one of those fish that would be like at the bottom of the ocean. Uh, here's its eye and the, you know because at the bottom of the ocean they really don't have developed eyes due to lack of sunlight. Here is the mouth of it and it's open and this is a lot of them uh, down there glow or they have little bulbs that light up and there is its little bulb. But then also I'm seeing a side profile right here. Let me zoom in a bit. I'm seeing a side profile. There is the nose, there's the eye, and <clears throat> excuse me, there's the chin, and then here is the ear, and it looks like an evil villain. But then here is also another eye. I don't know if you can see them, they're kind of closed. Here's one, here's one, and there is the nose. Um, let's see what else. I don't know, I love this because, like, I did these drawings uh, the other day, but I'm seeing so many different things. Um, right here, it looks like some kind of landscape. As you can see here is the landscape. And this is like a very tall thing of reeds. And there is probably the ocean. Or again, it's some kind of, uh, maybe like an eel. It kind of has the shape of an eel going. I already had it that way. And then up here, I am seeing an eye. And then there's the eyebrow. Or I'm seeing a duck. Here is the body, there is the square beak, and there is the eye. Or it could be a penguin. Um, here is the body of the penguin. There's its arm, and there's its eye. 
And then right here, it looks like somebody who caught a fish um, from the water here. Here is their body, and here is the fishing line, and there's the fish. And then um, right here, let me just move it. I just have to keep going back and forth to look at my camera. This reminds me of a totem pole. As you can see, they all have their own face going on. And then I think it gets kind of smaller as they go to the top. And then right here, I'm seeing, I'm trying to zoom in just a minute. Right here, I'm seeing a little spirit. Uh, it kind of reminds me from Spirited Away, all of those odd little spirits that they have. Uh, that's what I'm seeing in this image. And again, I did the, this uh, drawing the other day, but every time I look at it, I'm seeing new stories, new ideas, and new things within it. Uh, I just thought of this. See, here is a tadpole. There's its body. I'm sorry, there's its head, and then there's its body. Or it could be a toad. You know, um, I don't know much about toads, but here is the eye, here's the body. Sorry, here's the, here's the eye, here's the head, and here is the body, and it's on a lily pad. There's the landscape, and then there are some trees and stuff. I could go on about this for hours, but that's what I'm seeing uh, right now. What do you see?